Looking for an Evoke comparison to a Velar video? Guess what? You just hit it. 2024 Range Rover Evoque in the Dynamic SE P250 trim package. And then we're gonna be comparing that over to the 2024 Range Rover Velar again in the Dynamic SC P250 trim. We're gonna be talking about exterior, interiors, and specs on both these cars and bringing you guys the differences and similarities of these cars. But before we do, because we need you guys to put bread on our tables, honestly, to feed our families, because we need some bread, honestly. Just tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us, we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Nilo Land Rover here in Rockland, California for providing us both of these beautiful cars for this walk around review video. Keep watching because you might ask yourself, what is the price tag on these cars or what exactly do both of them come with? We're gonna be dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get an idea of what the price tag is on these cars. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so kicking this video off and diving in, I just wanna to mention to you guys that both come with the Dynamic SC P250 trim. Under the hood of the 2024 Range Rover Velar, you get a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with an eight speed automatic transmission, 247 horsepower with 269 pounds feet of torque. Does come with all wheel drive and electric power steering. But if we shoot over to the 2024 Range Rover Evoque, that also comes with a 2.0 four-cylinder turbocharged engine, but it has a nine-speed automatic transmission, which gives you one less horsepower at 246 horsepower with 269 pounds-feet of torque, making the torque exactly the same. All-wheel drive also with an electric power steering on the Evoque as well. Now, a little bit about the MPG on the Evoque, 20 city, 27 highway, and 22 combined with the 17.7 gallon gas tank size. If we compare that over to the Velar, 22 city, 26 highway, and 23 combined. So both are kind of in the same ballpark. Let's talk some dimensions. The Velar, the one that you're looking at right now in the video, 189 inches in length, 80 inches in width, and 66 inches in height with 113 inch wheelbase, 8.4 inch ground clearance with about 5,600 pounds of towing capacity. Coming over to the Evoque, let's go ahead and talk some dimensions there. A little bit smaller, 172 in length, 79 inches in width and 65 inches in height, 105 inch wheelbase with 8.3 inch ground clearance and 5,300 pounds of towing, okay? Let's go ahead and shut these hoods and bring to you guys the Velar and the Evoque. Now, One's more of a compact SUV. This is kind of a mid-size SUV, I would say. Both five-seaters, but let's go ahead and talk about front ends. Complete, I think, different front ends other than the lighting system, but the look, this kind of looks a little bit more squished. Range Rover going across that hood. Black gloss, that upper grille and the lower grille finishing off that kind of skid plate area in the high gloss black as well. Bumper sensors going across the Dynamic SC and you also get LED fog lights, active air vents with the lighting system does come LED, automatic high beam assist, self-elevating and so forth. Coming over to the Velar, yes, you still get kind of the same exact lighting system, a little bit different on the character here on these rectangular um, pieces inside the headlight, but still LED um, self-elevating along with the auto high beam assist. High gloss black grill up top, the lower grill in the high gloss black, bumper sensors going across and finishing off that lower front end. Instead of like that skid plate look, you got just a nice sporty, trim going across, which is also kind of a wider front end, I would say. Now, shooting over to the side of both cars. Up top on the hood, you get, yes, inlays or bezels, trim pieces, Range Rover embedded into this one with kind of a flush trim. This kind of has a dual level trim with no Range Rover embedded. And again, the fender area. This is kind of more curved. This is just more of a straight arrow look. Dropping down to the wheel area. On the Evoque is a Goodyear Eagle F1 All Terrains and they're coming in at a 235 50 20 with a high gloss black rim and a standard suspension. Over to the um, Velar, you're getting a nicer tire, Pirelli Scorpion Zero all season. And the size coming in on that one is a 255 50 20 as well. Also high gloss black rim with the standard suspension. Trim work, you still kind of have the same idea 
It's kind of like a little brother, big brother type thing. Black gloss trim coming in from the fender area over to the door. Same thing with the Velar. Just a little bit more straight edged on the Velar. Side mirrors, blind spot assist, automatic foldable with integrated lighting. Deployable handles on both. Black up top, exterior paint color coming in on the bottom and finishing off that lower rocker panel area with the high gloss black rocker panel trim, okay? This is a bit more flush. This kind of pops out, giving it more of a 3D look on the Evoke. All right. Now, this is where you're gonna see a lot of the difference here in the rear end. The Evoke is a lot shorter, right? Hence the shorter wheelbase at 105. This is a 113 wheelbase. And I'm not sure if you guys see that good in the video. But again, I'm about six feet two inches, kind of get the idea of what these cars look like if I'm standing next to them. On the Evoke, you kind of have a straight edge top where you get that spoiler with the LED lighting. The, wind, the uh, back glass wiper is tucked in. High gloss black trim going across and the LED tail lights, okay? The tail lights are completely different looking. I mean, same idea with coming in from the quarter panel over to the tailgate, but the design of the tail light within within the tail light is different. Camera system, backup camera right over that license plate area, dropping down, rear diffuser in the black gloss, as mentioned, with the bumper sensors going across, and then your exhaust tips are tucked giving it kind of a cleaner, minimalist look. Here over the, the, the Velar, I prefer these back tail lights, just kind of a richer feel with the polka dots kind of integrated into that uh, back tail light. Velar on the left, still kind of have the black gloss thing going on here in the rear end. Up top, you have kind of an active air vent on the right and left, right before that spoiler, giving it more of a sportier look. LED brake light with that wiper tucked in under the spoiler. On the lower end, bumper sensor is going across, but again, you have more of a kind of a flushed or softer look diffuser. And again, the exhausts are tucked away. Popping open this tailgate right near the camera system here on the right. Opening up to the cargo area of the Velar, let's talk about differences in sizes now, okay? Now, the Velar comes with 30 cubic feet of space with the second row seats up, 62 feet of space with the second row seat down. The second row seat does come 40, 20, 40 with some grocery hooks and a 12 volt outlet. Full size spare, same rim as the other four. That's something that's very cool in this Velar. But if we shoot over to the Evoke, there are some differences here, okay? Let's go ahead and talk cargo space on the Evoke. So a little bit smaller on the cargo area. 21 cubic feet of space with the second row seat up. 51 cubic feet of space with the second row seat down. Still comes with the 40, 20, 40. You don't, you have one 12 volt outlet, sorry, on the left hand side instead of the right, one little pocket, but your spare tire is not a full size spare. The same rim as the car, kind of one of those simplified. But again, I'm still happy that I'm getting a spare tire because a lot of manufacturers are stepping away from spare tires. To finish off with the exterior, I want to mention that this is the Zadar Gray or the Zadar Gray. Hopefully I'm saying it right. And this is the Arroyos Gray, A-R-R-O-I-O-S Gray. And hopefully I'm getting that right as well. Just so you guys don't have to ask me in the comment section below of the exterior paint colors. Now let's go ahead and bring both interior to you guys. So now we're sitting inside the 2024 Range Rover Evoque. Now guys, I'm about six feet two inches as mentioned earlier on in this video. I just want you guys to kind of get an idea of what it looks like as I'm sitting in this car, that the Evoque is going to be a bit more compact than the Velar. But I want to show you guys some pretty, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say big differences, just moderate uh, differences. Cause honestly, the Evoque on the front side of this interior looks pretty much similar, honestly, I think. Starting with the door panel, you're going to get a lot of different door panel area, okay? You got your control units to your windows, your side mirrors, and then the memory seating is going to be different placement and a different look. Meridian sound system in both, but again, some cubby room down there as well. But the door panel is going to uh, be a slightly different design, all right? On the left-hand side of the electric steering column, you get one button, that's the tailgate button. You also get that on the floor. Coming up to the steering wheel area, okay? Steering wheel is pretty much exactly the same, even with that black chrome look, the controls to your lane assist and heated steering wheel there on the bottom right. Controls for that front driver cockpit cluster display screen, full digital, very nice. 
paddle shifters and controls to your windshield wipers and your lighting. Where you're gonna see the difference is here. Okay, the design right here is gonna be different right near that um, steering column where this button here is gonna be slightly angled and you're gonna see this kind of indent into the dashboard a little bit more. But moving forward with the 11.4 inch PV Pro system in both, that is nothing different. And the center console, the pretty much minor differences is the USB ports. Here in the Evoque, you're only getting USB-C to where on the Velar you're getting USB-C and USB-A. And that's gonna be placement differently here because on the back side of the Velar, you're gonna have them here. And then on the front side of the Evoque, again, as you see right now. But shift lever, the inlays in the matte gray with the cup holders, pretty much the same center console. Seating system does come with the perforated leather electric controls. They are heated in the Evoque. The Velar comes with heated and ventilation, all right? Up top, tilt slide sunroof option with the electric sun visor that goes all the way over to the back to that second row, which we're gonna shoot over to it just in about a little bit. Just wanted to finish off with a little bit more of this front end. Non-lockable glove compartment there and then up top a frameless rear view mirror now we're pretty much done with the evoke let's go ahead and i mean not done exactly with the evoke but second row seating and then we'll jump into the velar so the second row seating in the evoke guys and right off the bat what is different starting with up top now remember i'm six feet two inches my head is touching the top or my hair slightly but you're getting two extra speakers here, one here and one here in the Velar. So bigger cabin, I would say they're getting more sound in it. Along with your O snap handles, there is no handles here in the Evoque. Okay. Door panels are going to be different as mentioned in the front as well as in the back. The look on the back of the front seats are going to be different. They both come with pockets, but I'm going to show you guys that it's a different look. In between those two front seats, you get the air vents the flow of your heating and cooling air system along with the USB-C plugins and 12 volt outlet they are just placed a little bit different but pretty much same idea okay now you don't get the heating and cooling system in the Velar because uh, this exact Evoke does come with the comfort pack and what does that mean it just has better cabin lighting gets the dual climate control and cabin air purifier system, all right? So you get that as well because it's a comfort pack. But again, that's pretty much it. it does come car seat compatibility. You also finish off with Meridian sound system. You get an extra speaker on the door here instead of bottom corner here, okay? Now guys, we're pretty much done. Let's go ahead, jump inside this Velar and then finish up with a video. So guys, the Evoke is coming in at around $61,000 to where this exact Velar is coming in at around $70,000 and some change, okay? Now, I'm going to bring this interior to you guys and kind of get an idea of, you know, is it worth that extra like $9,000 for the Velar? It's a bigger SUV. But the door panel, as I mentioned, completely different. Controls are a slightly different area, different look on the memory seating and unlock lock button. Just a different design all around on the Velar, right? I'm gonna open it up so you guys get a better idea. You get in a little addition here, also a little knob to control that lighting system on your dashboard right near that tailgate lift button. I mentioned that the steering wheel is pretty much the same, all right? Same trim, same colors, everything. But I'm gonna start this car and look, that start and stop button is angled. Remember that indentation I was telling you guys about right here? complete different look there but same cluster look along with the pv pro system in the 11.4 inch pv pro system let's go ahead and click on the climate controls these come heated and ventilated seats so that's something that is different that you're getting ventilation on these seats themselves okay you're getting them only on the front seat not the back moving forward remember i told you the center console is going to be uh pretty much the same two lids but usba plug-in and a usb-c plug-in on the back instead of the front and you're adding a little bit more tech with the usba plug-ins and then a usb-c plug-in with the wireless charging pad but that was pretty much the same okay another thing that's slightly different is the lockable glove compartment in the velar you don't get lockable glove compartment in the evoke as well all right now seats are pretty much the same perforated leather in the ebony black with the electric controls guys rear view mirror same up top, tilt slide sunroof option with electric control visor, same. 
Let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating and finish off with this video. All right, so second row seating in the Velar. And guys, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys, way more space back here than the Evoque. Not as claustrophobic back here. And I'm just going to have to say, that's a big plus for that extra like $9,000 price tag for the people or your passengers or your kids or whoever's sitting back here, all right? Even if you're trying to pack stuff back here, you got more room back here than the Evoque. Again, you got the hard back of the two front seats. This was, uh, the Evoque was a soft back. These are hard backs with the hard back pocket. And then in between, USB-C plugins, different placement and a 12 volt outlet with your vents, okay? But that's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, the other things I mentioned is the O-snap handles there. So you're holding on if you're going off-roading or camping and then your little speakers there and there as well, guys. So guys, here's the MSRP sticker first to the Evoque. So you guys get an idea of the price tag and things that come on it. And then here's the MSRP sticker to the Velar. As promised, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here at Bag of Bomb Builds with James and Sandu. Keep watching, stay tuned, and check out our other videos. God bless you.